do you know why Guillaume is blind? How did he become the strongest Hashira, and what is his connection to Zenitsu? Hey guys, how are you? I hope you are well, today we are going to talk a little about Stone Hashira, which has one of the saddest stories in my opinion, and for those of you who still don't know me, I am the Monio, the interdimensional demon who talks most about Demon Slayer on YouTube, and you're on my channel. Alas, to see such a pitiful creature as this, I grieve for him. Perhaps it would have been better if he hadn't been born. Guillaume has been blind since he was a little boy, and years before the current events of history, he lived in a temple, and took care of a group of orphan children. Guillaume's intention was that everyone there would be one big family. Guillaume was an extremely kind and peaceful person, and all the children were very fond of him. The children had orders never to leave the temple at night, because although Oni's attacks were not common in that region, Guillaume knew that there was a risk of attack and always asked the children not to leave. In addition, he spread incense around the temple with Wisteria Essence, which is a substance used mainly by Shinobu to poison the Onis, in this way the temple would be protected. One day, one of the children disobeyed the order never to go out at night, and was found by a demon, and to save himself the child told the demon the location of the temple, in addition the child threw away all the incense of Wisteria, leaving the temple completely exposed, in order to be saved. Later we found out that this child was Kaigaku, a training partner of Zenitsu, who would later become the new Upper Moon number 6. That night the demon attacked the temple, and right from the start, for children were killed by the demon, Guillaume in an attempt to save the remaining children, he ordered all of them to join and stay behind him, but Guillaume was a blind man, and the children they did not believe that he would be able to protect them, so they despaired over the situation and three of those who were behind Guillaume tried to flee and were also killed by the demon. Only a single child was left, a little girl named Seo. She was the only one who trusted Guillaume and stayed behind him. The demon then went to attack the two. Having grown up under the teachings of Buddhism, Guillaume was an extremely peaceful person. He had never hurt anyone in his life. For him, attacking another living being was something horrible, which caused enormous anguish in his heart. But to protect that last one child, Guillaume was willing in everything and the blind monk attacked the demon with all the strength of his body, and it is at that moment that he discovers how strong he was, his punches were so powerful that the demon could not regenerate in time to counter-attack. Guillaume kept attacking the demon non-stop throughout the night, and when the day dawned, the demon's body disintegrated, that's when Guillaume finally stopped. The next day, people from the surrounding area went to see what happened, and they found Seo, the child that Guillaume protected, very scared and confused. And that's when a big misunderstanding happened, without knowing how to explain the situation. Little Seo said that that man was a monster and that he had killed all the children. She was obviously referring to the Oni that killed her friends. But when people saw the blind monk covered in blood and next to the body of the several dead children, they thought that Guillaume was the monster the girl was talking about, since the Oni's body was no longer there. Guillaume was arrested accused of killing the children and was sentenced to death. But he was rescued by a man who saw goodness in him and the full potential of his strength, and that man was Kagaya Abuyashiki. Kagaya invited Guillaume to join the Demon Slayer Corps, and just like Takedo, Guillaume proved to be a prodigy, becoming not only a Hashira in less than two months, but also the strongest Demon Slayer of that era. Later, Guillaume tells Tanjiro that if he had never attacked that demon, he would live his whole life without knowing he was strong showing how even difficulties can change our lives and transform us. So sad. He's been possessed by a demon. Let us end this child's life and free him from his cursed existence. Now let's go to some curiosities and secrets of Stone Ashira. Guillaume Himajima is the tallest and also the heaviest among the Ashiras, at 220 centimeters and 130 kilograms. Guillaume was extremely faithful to the concept of what a demon slayer would be, and like Hengoku, he believed that the beauty of human life was to live and die like a human. Guillaume is the most physically fit human being out of all the demon slayers, and was praised by the other Ashuras and was also praised by the number one upper moon, being named the strongest demon slayer in over 300 years. Guillaume is the only Ashura in the entire work who does not use something resembling a sword as a weapon, the weapon he uses is an axe and an iron ball connected by a chain, 
and this weapon was made with the intention of compensating for the, its blindness, and although it is not a Nicaran blade, it was made with the same materials and has the same properties of being bathed in the sun, as well as the swords of the other demon slayers. The stone Ashira is 27 years old and has a birthday on August 23rd, making him the oldest demon slayer in the Demon Slayer Corp. Giyome became blind as a child as a side effect of a severe fever. Giyome is most often portrayed with tears in his eyes, usually he is a very sensitive person and cries for many things. Giyome came into contact with Buddhism when he was very young, and the teachings were passed on to him by a monk. Seo, the girl who survived the Oni attack on the Giyome temple, blamed herself for many years for the stone Ashura, being accused and imprisoned in that situation, even after a decade, she still wanted to apologize to him, but unfortunately in the end of the manga, this did not happen. When Giyome was sentenced to death by mistake, he began to doubt and fear all the children's claims, but he gradually got over it by talking to Kagaya Abuyashiki. Giyome was responsible for introducing Kaneo Kocho and Shinobu Kocho into the Demon Slayer Corp. Giyome contrasts with Upper Moon No. 1, as both were the strongest of their respective classes, and both were the trusted members of their masters, Giyome being Kagaya Abuyashiki's trusted Ashira, and Kokushibo the Upper Moon in which Musen more trusted. One of Giyome's hobbies was playing Shakuhachi, which is a type of game played with a bamboo flute, which is quite common among Buddhist monks. Besides Shinobu and Muchiro, Giyome is the only one of the Ashuras who have a personal connection with one of the upper moons, and that connection is with Kaigaku, who was the child who facilitated the Oni's entry into Giyome's temple. Giyome was the first Ashura to awaken the Demon Slayer mark over 25 years old, so he already woke up being under the effects of the curse of the mark, according to Kokushibo, just by awakening the mark in that situation, Giyome would already die a few hours after activation of Brand. Giyome's father died due to an illness, and his mother died during childbirth, making the stone Ashira grow up an orphan. When we read the official Demon Slayer fanbook, and see Giyome's opinions about the other Ashuras, we realize that even though he is blind, he is very good at reading people's feelings, he was the first to realize that Abanai was in love with Mitsuri, and that Mitsuri liked Abanai. He also noticed that Sanemi liked Kaneo, and also that Tomioka and Shinobu were happy when they talked to each other. The focus of stone breathing tries to imitate earth and stone, the robustness and fortification of these two materials, it is a breath with five forms, the fifth form being the most powerful, called the Arcs of Justice. Giyome loved cats, and often talked with Mitsuri about this subject, and during the Demon Slayer One-Winged Butterfly novel, he was seen by Miss Jury, taking care of a cat in the rain. Even though he is blind, Giyome reached the transparent world, and because of this ability to transcend what would be normal vision, Giyome is now able to see with his other instincts united, making him able to use this ability to the fullest of his potential. The name Giyome has a kanji meaning line. The surname Haimajima means to scream, and has the kanji for touch and sadness. So, is Giyome his favorite Ashira? Leave it in the comments, and if you like the video, subscribe to my demonic channel, I'll leave other Demon Slayer content on the final screen, that's it my people, until next time, demonic hugs.